Hey guys, it's Susie Lolly, straight from my quarantine life, which means, you know, no makeup. <laughs> so glad to be back again with our fourth video in the Canvas for Little series, Amazing Announcements. Guys, if you're someone who feels like, gosh, I just never remember to send an announcement, send a special piece of information to my students, I'm going to show you how we can solve that problem, make you look like the rock star teacher you are. So stay tuned. You guys, I will always have a special place in my heart for Remind, formerly known as, in the words of Prince, the artist formerly known as Remind 101. I used it way back in the day when it first came out. I loved being able to use that tool to get in touch with my kids, although they started to use it as a crutch and say, Miss Lola, you're going to send us a Remind about this. I'm like, how about you write it down? You're already here. <laughs> but anyway, once Canvas came along, why do I need to send them something in email and remind and elsewhere? Like, let's make this, which is my philosophy, the one-stop shop. The only reason I'm going to go outside of Canvas is if Canvas physically cannot do it. But guess what? Canvas has a beautiful announcements tool. I'm going to give you a full tour of it in the next clip, but it can totally save you from having to use some other tool to communicate information. If kids and parents are already in here or if we're going to bribe them to get in here, then we want to make sure that all of our stuff is there for them to find. So stay tuned. So let's embark on a little tour of announcements, shall we? So I'm going to go ahead and click, click. I'm not going to click it. I'm going to click plus announcements. And I'm going to actually call this one birthday announcement because I'm preparing to show you something magical. Well, let's just say happy birthday to, and I'm about, if we're going to get parents to jump in and some of them are either don't have the time or the inclination to jump in and read what we write, then I'm all about the power of intrigue. So I'm specifically not putting the kid's name in the, in the beginning. I'm going to put my ellipsis there to hold a place to maybe make someone write this. Or it could say something like, here's, here's the news from today's featured student. And again, I'm not going to tell who it is because I want them to actually read the announcement. And then down here, you have all your typical Canvas boxes, how you can use rich text and HTML, whatever you need to do if you're fancy. Um, video, you can do whatever you need to do to make an announcement down here. Uh, it's going to ask you who to post it to, so all sections, what course, what it is. You can attach a file here. But then here's the magic. I like the delay posting feature. So I'm going to show you in just a minute a template for making birthday announcements. But let's just say that one time as part of your pre-planning or your summer work, you know how you get about halfway through the summer and you're like, okay, I probably should do some kind of work. <laughs> you start to crave shopping for school supplies or whatever it is. Yeah, you're a teacher nerd like me. Um, then at some point when you have your class roster in hand and you know their birthdays, you can go ahead and just sit down and schedule a mass posting of maybe it could be a once a month or on that kid's particular day post like, you know, if you wanted to call this November birthdays, if you weren't going to use my single student strategy, that's a lot. November birthdays. <laughs> What you could do is you could go ahead and figure out which of your kids have November birthdays. I'm going to show you a little template on the next little slide that you can use to make them a birthday announcement. But what you do is go ahead and just say, happy birthday, Briley, Brendan, and Bruce, okay? And you have their birthday announcements ready to go, but the parents don't realize this is a ninja trick. Parents don't realize that you've gone ahead and pre-scheduled this in July or August, whenever you're first back to school. So you say, delay posting, post at, do 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 November 1st, just so you don't miss anybody. And then depending on the settings at your school, you can turn on allow liking. Some districts I've worked with, that is not a feature. So we tried turning it on, it doesn't work. You can allow them to comment whatever it is you want them to do. But how amazing that way back in June or July or August, you can go ahead and schedule your birthdays for the whole year. Now you don't want to forget your new kids because that could get you in trouble. But as new kids come in, just maybe make a, a point to go back and schedule or adjust this announcement. Now, when I save this that says, yay for the birthday kids and has whatever image I want to put, let's see if I can paste an em a Bitmoji in there just for fun, you know, you want to play with me? I'm going to put in birthday, okay, copy that. Birthday hugs is probably a bad one for these quarantine times. But anyway, yeah, you can paste an emoji even right in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and s notice that it says save, not send, because I've delayed the posting of it. And that is ready to go, but I can always come back and edit. So anytime before November gets here, I get a new kid with a November birthday, I can go in there and add his name too. Isn't that the coolest thing? So I just want to share with you on the next little clip a template for how you can make this a little easier for yourself. 
So I've made available for you a course called Canvas for Littles. All you have to do is search my name in the Canvas Commons, which I'm assuming you're in Canvas and you have that. So I'm going to click and go to the Commons. And if you just search my name, Susie Lolly, you have to put the E in the last name or it won't find anything. <laughs> but there's a course called Canvas and Office 365 for Littles. You are welcome to grab a copy of that. A hundred of your friends already have. But you can grab a copy of that and you can put it in, um, you know, in a blank course that you own to get any resources you want. But one resource I have in there under the module called, let me show you, let me just give you that little tour. Inside the course, it's the very last module called Littles Are Cute, Canvas Should Be Too. Um, and excuse me, that's the wrong one. I'm sorry. It's the one called announcements, assignments, discussions. There you go. And the first two things in there are how to make your own from scratch PowerPoint birthday announcements, which ugh, you probably don't want to make them from scratch, but here are all the directions if you do, or I already have a PowerPoint file created for you that says happy birthday. It's your special day. You just change the names in there. So if you're like, Hey, I want quick and easy. You can download this from that file, from that commons course. Or I've got full directions on how I made this if you want to make your own template. So just in case you want a birthday announcements template, or we just found together that little Bitmoji idea. You could just say, happy birthday, Mason, Bitmoji. Happy birthday, Carter, Bitmoji, or whatever you want to do. But I think using the announcements feature for all of your communication, especially with little kids, one-stop shopping is important. But then also finding ways to personalize it and want parents and students to engage with you. The younger ones are going to need more reasons to do that, and so are their parents. And so throwing in birthday announcements that you pre-scheduled to me is a great way to get their attention. Hey guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them, but if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you want to gamify, playlist for that. And all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.